You know, we always like to not just silo things. We're never all about STEM or we're never all about the arts. What we like to do is show how they're all integrated. And by involving Attack Theater in the Rube Goldberg exhibit, we actually bring dance into Rube Goldberg. And who would have ever thought? But it actually works out beautifully. Um, our audience just really enjoys it. Here at the Children's Museum, we're really workshopping the ideas and concepts of Rube Goldberg. So we have some ideas that do with cause and effect, that really focus on the detail, that focus on problem solving, which actually Rube is so um, passionate about failure and when things don't work because that's how you get to learn. I brought my daughter for a play date with her friend, uh, specifically to see the Attack Theater because uh, her friend had already seen you guys and enjoyed it. The, the kind of combination of engineering and art, uh, that was really fun and I was surprised that uh, towards the end I started to think to myself, hmm, I don't know the answer to this one. Making them understand uh, action, reaction, consequences with some props that were just appropriate for the kids. I think the kids understood it and, and loved it. The world of attack theater is all about opening up the possibilities for how movement can be part of a learning environment. Attack theater has been working in the museum for over 25 years. We create full on beautiful shows, but we also have perfected the science and the art of interacting with little people to big people at their level. So they can feel successful just sitting here and watching. They can feel successful standing up. We're trying to get to the point where we can break down as many of the us, them barriers as we could. What's really fun about the Rube Goldberg exhibit is that it actually is a cooperative experience. You have to work together to make the Rube Goldberg machines work. And what's really great is Attack Theater is all about working together to make the dance work. Kids can be kind of timid into themselves, but once we start moving and bring out all these cool toys and objects to explore, the kids are so open and just willing to play with us and problem solve and figure things out, which is what it's all about. And I think that it's important to stretch the boundaries of art for young children and show quality art experiences, either visual or performing, to kind of keep the freshness in all of our museums by inviting creative and talented people in, and that's what Attack Theater is. I think it's really great to introduce kids to the arts more than just, you know, the paint stands or, or exhibits, but actually seeing live entertainment is great, there aren't a lot of opportunities. I think that what makes Attack Theater and this program so effective is that it is able to be done in almost any setting. It's scalable up and it's scalable down, but each level on that scale is highly effective. Well, I think other museums should really um, participate and have Attack Theater when they have the Rube Goldberg exhibit because it just it adds a different dimension. I'm always amazed um, at the new ideas that they come up with. Even though we've worked with them on numerous occasions, we keep inviting them back because we keep learning more about dance and movement. Um, and it's just been a delight to have them at the museum.